Welcome to Probably Nothing, the IOTA news of the last two weeks. I'm Alexander, wishing everyone a happy new year and a great development of our favorite cryptocurrency, Shiba Coin. Just kidding. At the end, here's a big 2022 recap from me on Probably Nothing. Here we go. One last call to pick up the winnings for the two Moran codes, otherwise they will be ruffled on Twitter to other lucky people. First up is Space5. They opened the closer beta for their Shimmer infrastructure project just before Christmas. According to their own statement, you can set up your own node in less than two minutes. The whole thing is aimed more at the industry than a personal use, which of course should not stop you from trying it anyway. Continuing with She Universe, the team has published a small video at the end of the year, a making of. It looks very elaborate and makes you want to see more. The link to the video is as always below in the description. After Christmas, Acodis Germany then brought out news that they are bringing out a solution for physical products with Vision Authentic. The whole thing works like this. You buy for example a product, the whole thing is regulated by a smart contract, you get an NFT which represents the certificate plus the purchase product. The whole thing is stored on the Tangle and can be verified there. Some companies are already participating, for example Tees with clothing or Cryptogen21. Bfrost shows a video how fast and easy it is to create a Shimmer and IOTA wallet in Telegram and send the tokens. Who of you actually uses this feature in Telegram? Drop me a line in the comments. On the 8th of January they also released a small update and that is their app is on the way to full decentralized with full compatibility to Firefly. Maybe this point will appease one of two or stop thinking so negatively about the project. Also Loyal has shown a video with the prospect of 2023. This shows that you can easily create and manage your memberships and stamp cards. Just before the end of the year, the Shimmer team added some cool statistics to the Explorer. For example, the active addresses, number of transactions or the storage. You can clearly see that the Shimmer network is alive and growing. The IOTA Foundation has also posted a blog post with the year in review 2022. Governance, Shimmer, Firefly, but also many things from community have been created or improved in 2022. Meanwhile, there are also a few good videos with reviews or what all happened. On the 31st of December finally came the surprise from Garrett Jin, which you have already heard last episode. And so he announced a new infrastructure, the so-called SMPC. Secure Multi-Party Computation Platform. SMPC is a subset of cryptography that allows function in a distributed system to be computed across multiple parties without sharing data with other network's participants. SMPC allows nodes within a network to jointly compute a function while keeping the input secret from other nodes within the network. The process is one of the many distributed computing methods that provides privacy and security in a blockchain environment. It will then serve as a bridge for IOTA, Shimmer and Assembly, for example to swap tokens back and forth and generate a return without a third party. But all decentralized. On govern.iota.org, Garrett has also published a proposal already. Thus, all profits go distributed in the other platforms. According to him, the SMPC is already finished and ready for use. The code is currently being reviewed and more details will follow soon. Mosquito Pay presents their eponymous project with a video. Basically what makes IOTA so great, fast, cheap and globally available payment for services. So far, however, there is no further information about possible partners on areas of applications will be launched concretely on the app. Dell has published a recap on the same day and mentioned again IOTA and climate check. This information is a bit older, but when larger companies repeat it rather shows, then they hold to the solutions. The whole thing has been viewed over 70,000 times. The Audit 1 team was the first to release news in the new year. They have expanded their member area. Review progress has now been introduced and Rust as another programming language. Also they have presented their plans for 2023. So they want to implement a trust layer at Sooniverse, publish their own token, create a committee and work out a concept for insurance pool. Tight program. Good luck. Crypto Toots has published a video titled IOTA is about to core decide IOTA 
2.0. In just under 10 minutes he explained IOTA, the tangle has been down a few times, so we rehash everything that has been history, he shimmies down the roadmap, does a little price talk and that's it. Crypto Toots has a general positive insight and opinion of IOTA, but unfortunately no Sooniverse, where IOTA and Shimmer works very well. Unfortunately no IOTA B. Too bad. Still left a relative positive impression to his subscribers. IOTA Origin writes a Medium article where they introduce themselves once again and give an outlook on the future. IOTA Origins want to support mining, monitor so that this industry is sustainable. This article shows clearly with many statistics the emission budget, the supply chains and inside which materials are mined in the mining and are important for the import. Electrification through batteries, for example, is worth mentioning here. Then on the 8th of January another interesting tweet came out from everything. They are looking for the best day where you can use this social media app for a public beta test. They released a little video on the 29th of September of how it looks or could look but no more news came out and now completely out of nowhere a beta. I'm very excited. Shimmer C had written a great tweet on the 9th of January that they are testing the Shimmer EVM and cannot wait to show us the training decks. As we know, the team has at the end of 2022 still the Shimmer EVM as an alpha out so that it can be tested. When there comes the beta of EVM, then probably all other projects will follow. That's it for now with the news and it's time to start my own recap of probably nothing. 1700 subscribers have been following me and IOTA since its creation. 6000 hours of video have been watched, that's exactly 250 days or a little over 8 months. Over 520,000 times the videos have been viewed on YouTube with a 5% click through rate, which is more than the average and an average payback time of 5 minutes and 25 seconds. With the many subtitles I can also cover IOTA to many nations out there and only 50 best countries are shown to me. Also with the introduction of Sooniverse I created an NFT which should help me financially, the Super Sayaloom, where there are 70 pieces left. Here I thought about how I can give this NFT and added value and this is what came out. Everyone who bought such an NFT deserves to be rewarded. That's why I will pay out my commissions that I get at Bitforex in Shimmer to all buyers fairly. I hope that all buyers have registered their Shimmer addresses at Sooniverse. Otherwise no payout will be possible here. The payout is also up to date. That is if you also wanted to be involved in the payout it goes only next time. Thanks also to the free spectators who indirectly support me with registrations via my links. Big thanks also goes to Kali who has transferred his whole collection of IOTA nerds for support. Here are also still very much NFTs still there, so grab it. A big thanks also goes to all Patreon donors, Carlos and Bernard as well as Kokulus and Mac Winston who support the channel monthly with their membership and compensate the immense amount of time, be it in research or editing, as best they can. My halfway properly tracked working hours here now amount to over 300 hours. A lot has happened since the first video. As you can see I try with new and elaborate intros as well as few hopefully well-timed gifts to make the videos more interesting and new viewers of the bubble tasty. What again costs more time and energy than I want to do it in the beginning. Therefore a big call and request to participate in the NFTs, memberships, rafflings, direct donations be it IOTA or Shimmer and support the channel. Because among the three big IOTA channels that the IOTA Foundation itself calls, IOTA Spec, IOTA Pod, Greetings Go Out and Probably Nothing. Probably Nothing is the biggest of them, which is a great honor for me and I want to do justice to this greatness. Thanks again to all the viewers all the subscribers and supporters. I hope we experience an incredible year 2023 with great developments, great leaps forward, maybe even a great revolution or one or two surprises. I wish that many still come to rest and not immediately think negatively, that we'll become happy and of course that IOTA gets the success that IOTA also deserves. To a new and exciting year, until next episode, bye bye.